ise lai di atun bi pe elomi ani ati inu oyun ni mo ti gba pe eni ti o ba di atun bi ko le sise fo olorun o iyan koko iyan gbodo koko gbo ipe igbala ko tu gbo ipe ise ranse iyan la so laaro acts chapter 12 wisdom from acts chapter 12 let's read from verse 1 to 5 then we read verse 12 together once you are there let's be on our feet in honor of god's word as we do it together we do it together you're welcome to church today this month shall be glorious for you it shall not be a struggling month it shall be a month that god's favor will open doors your good expectations shall not be cut off in the name of jesus this month you will not cry and it looks to you this month you will not experience loss no good thing will die in your hands every good thing you brought into this month shall increase in the name of jesus i declare a change of season for you this month it shall not be like before it shall be better in the name of jesus i say it shall be better let's rise up on our feet i'll read verse one you read verse two till we get to verse five then we jump to verse 12. acts of apostles chapter one uh, chapter 12 from verse 1 to 5. I'll read verse 1. Now, about the time, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Now, you read verse 2. 1, 2. Can we have verse 2? And let's go. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. I read verse 3. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Now you take verse 4. Let's go. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrants of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. I read verse 5. But, sorry, Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now, verse 12 is your own. Jump to verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12. Can we go? Is it there? One, two, and let's go. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many gathered together, doing what? Praying. Father, we ask for fresh understanding again. Please speak to our hearts. Let us be blessed by you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. I'm not talking about prayer this morning. Sit down. Because I know I've preached this verse uh, from the point of prayers. But I'm not talking about prayers this morning. You know what God told me to talk about this morning? He told me to talk about the power of relationship. Now look at that verse 5 very well. When Peter was arrested and placed in prison, the Bible says, and the multitude gathered together. Look at that. They gathered together and prayer was being made concerning him. Today we shall learn from the power of relationship and how as believers we should try to maintain it. So many people don't understand that it is not biblical to stand alone. Listen, it's, it's, it's terrible. I look at, uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says, Woe unto him. Woe unto him. You know, some people enjoy it, but it's not biblical. I will show you. Now, imagine how James died. James was arrested. Nobody did anything. Nobody spoke anything. And he was killed. But look at when Peter was arrested. The Bible says they gathered to... He, they, they were, they, they, there were people that could gather together to pray for Peter. And when you to le kura wonjo. Imagine people are mentioning your name in the name of Jesus. I wrote here. I want to read from my notes. Hallelujah. 
I talk to me, hallelujah. Imagine how the voice of the multitude provoked the supernatural intervention for Peter. There's no time to read. The Bible says, as they were praying and praying and praying, an angel came down. The angel came down, opened the prison doors, made, told Peter, stand up, follow me. As Peter was following him, prison doors were opening. As Peter was following him, his chains fell off. As Peter was following him, he led Peter to where the people were praying. Now, imagine the kind of supernatural intervention that was provoked by the voice of the multitude. Listen, it's a mystery. Even me myself cannot explain it. Why God will answer the prayer of the multitude over the prayer of one. Me too, I don't know. It's a mystery. You know, Jesus said it. He said, if two or more shall agree as touching anything here or not, if two or more shall agree as touching anything here or not, the Bible says what will happen? It shall be done by our Father in heaven. That's why I want to talk to you this morning. Don't be specialized in accumulation of enemies. And one can one in master degree, one more bush in lotta. Oh, yeah, I found lot of lotta, you bush in lore law. But what do go be tombawa? He let tomba cosi, one man yara lotta, and it's a bad spirit. And me, Shuburukuni, look at how the voice of the multitude was able to provoke intervention for Peter. Excuse me, sir. Imagine keep it a man near one to leave to leave to leave boom a dua so ke ni to leave it here. Koma seni ka kambi kaka horo ewada biti James. He will have died just like that. I'm going back to my notes again. Imagine for a lot of people to be mentioning the name of one man in prayers. A lot of people. In fact, verse twelve shows us that even when he later got to where they were, they they, they all met to be praying. They were they were still praying. Laying but otu de beton otu ba won. I want you go on. Kolo nuti soka le uti tusile. These people were still praying. Look at such sincerity. Look at that kind of commitment to one man. I want to ask a question. I wrote it in my notes. Now, and this is a question. Somebody will ask. What's the question, sir? Can there still be people like this that will not pretend to love me when I'm around and do something else behind me? Sir, do you mean that sincere people still exist? I know that so many of you will say, Pastor, those people don't exist. Oh, wow. They are there. And I will show you why you didn't get them. Sincere people are there. People that will not pretend are there. People that will love you as you are are there. People that want to relate with you are there. But listen, there are truths you must know. Let's look at the Bible to show. Let's confirm this scripture, this word, this answer that I gave. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24. 24, if you are there ahead of me, just wait for me. Don't read ahead of me. You know, some of you are very, very fast. Proverbs 18, 24. Are you there? It says, a man that has friends must show himself how? Friendly. That's not where I'm going. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. tole money. Your family gone law is there. So if you are thinking because you have not seen sincere people, oh, sincere people don't exist. People only come around you because of what they want to gain. Na lie. Sincere people exist. That's why this morning I want to share five important truths you should know when it comes to relationship. Five important truths you should know when it comes to relationship. Number one, a lot of believers... Don't get sincere people because they themselves deceive themselves. Now, iditi o kolo ko ni gbagbo o se ni awon ore gidi ni pe awon gan fun rara awon tan ra won. I will tell you why. Do you know that a lot of Christians are not looking for sincere friends? A lot of people are not looking for truthful people. A lot of people are not looking for honest friends. I'm telling you the truth. From experience, from counseling, 
For instance, imagine somebody that says he's looking for a mentor. Some, he's not actually looking for a mentor. Some people are looking for sponsors instead of mentors. Are you getting what I'm saying? A lot of people are not sincere to themselves. Now, listen, some people will say, ah, what pastor giddy? I'm looking for a good pastor. Pastor that preaches the truth. But he got you, he told it out, he told about it, but I won't buy it. I'm not going to that church again. Pastor, yeah, lay. Pastor, yeah, buru, kilum, wagon. For you to have sincere friends like that of Peter, you must be able to tell yourself the truth. What are you actually looking for? I have seen some, some, some young ladies. If you ask them, why are you not married? They are not looking for husband. If you are actually looking for a husband, you are dating a young man. The young man approached you, I love you, I want to let us start a relationship. And your first request for, from him is a human hair of 500K. You are not looking for us, man. You are looking for sugar daddy now. Hello, am I communicating? <laughs> you have to be sincere. You have to be what? Sincere. You are, it's like somebody say, oh, brother, sir, sir, pray, pray for me. I need a wife. I'm looking for a wife. I need the wife. Some brothers too are not looking for wife. They are only looking for sex partners. A woman that will be a true wife will not offer you sex on the road. I'm telling you the fact. The man that will be a true husband may not have the money you need on the road. What a true man will offer you is leadership. What a true woman should offer you is honor, respect. These are things you look at on the way. What are you looking for? A lot of Christians are the ones, I'm telling you, deceiving themselves. You look at people in fake churches, they are there, and they are saying, ha, ha, and I'm pastor anymore. Pastor Konongwa, a lot of people did not look, go to look for God in church. They are not looking for genuine pastors. Some of them are looking for something else. So, in being able to get sincere friends, the first thing is that you yourself must tell yourself the truth. I remember when it was time for me to choose a wife. I was trusting God for a wife. I didn't look for a woman that was not who she was. You know, today we have so many women that are fake. The bum bum is fake. The breast is fake. The face is fake. You don't know that there is fake bomb bomb now. Cosine continues to fake anything. In fact, I also saw it on the internet. The six packs of men fake not to tiwa. To makoko wo oma wasaya koto washet. So to baduru wa look is she six pack lungwa ni aboko. What are you actually looking for? Because it is what you are looking for that you are going to find. Say right here. <clears throat> Listen. Get me and catch a place. If you are actually looking for relationship with sincere people, then focus on relationship. You focus on relationship. So, don't forget rule number one. What is rule number one? Don't deceive yourself. Now, when I was, when God called me into ministry, and I was trying, Lord, my focus is I want to raise pure believers. I know that if I'm going to raise pure believers, I should not come on a Sunday morning to be asking for 10 million naira in the service. Church, you are to stage here. If I begin to come to church and I say, yes, yes, you must go and look for it. I want to teach you to steal. You didn't hear me. If I'm looking for true believers, which means you must earn your money, Abby, work for it, earn it. 
then you give the portion that belongs to God to God. But if I don't want believers, I just want to uh, let everybody just go. I, I can even look at say as small as this small girl and say, Oh, ti ro kun ni to le gba ku gbo wa fun wa so si ni ka fi sise oluwa don't deceive yourself what kind of friends are you looking for it is what you set out for you will get so ask yourself deep down what kind of friends am i looking for it was what i looked for that i got in my wife Everything about her was who she was and who she is. Do not allow your, your ego. Do not allow envy. Make you throw important relationships away. Listen. Listen. Some of you, it is the ego that did not allow you. Some of you, it is envy that did not allow you to get good friends. I know some people, once they, they, they want to relate, the first thing they check, are we on the same age level? If we are not on the same age level, we can't be friends. Pastor Shane, when you are so kilos of one, when you are about to be really, have you? So what are you actually looking for? Ah, sir, you know, I, I usually listen to some young girls when they come, Papa, let me pray. I, I'm 26. Um, if I marry a young man of 28, a young man of 28, Oh, walk on. Then I say, Oh, walk on. 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 Walk that's why, see, when Jesus was looking for disciples, he went for disciples. He saw Peter at the pool. He saw Matthew as a tax collector. He went for disciples and he worked on them and got them. If you are looking for friendship, go for friends. Sincere friends. Did you get it? Number two. Second principle that you must say, second truth. Stop giving attention to issues. Nobody is yet perfect. Cherry, if you want relationship, don't be paying attention to issues. See? Now, what do I mean by issues? You are, looking, you are relating with people and you are paying a, a, attention to the aspects of their life that God is still working on them. Maybe you don't know. We all are in the process, in God's hands, Allah unshi unshi she leg bo bo walori. Even at the meeting, my dear pastor, God is still working on me. You know why some people cannot keep relationship? You are paying too much attention to issues. Issues only man simbe, but listen, remove your attention from the issues. Pay attention to the relationship. You will see that relationship will work. Hey, 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 Pastor, you don't understand. Oh, but let me hear. Come on, so come on, so only Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't pay attention to issues. Ah, we've been married 22 years. If we pay attention to issues, we won't last. This 22 years, Ati Ja, Ati Tuka. She me to Jake, Emi on my worry, ask her. She was telling my daughter, was it, was it not three or days or four days ago, that can you see what your daddy is saying? that is school for like one month. I didn't see you. My wife now said, that is what I have been living with for 22 years. Oh, daddy, Sorry, me on my 
and who bring me what? Okay, think about it. Show my Oju Eluti Mama. If you do that with me, ah, I don't know, and it's not intentional. Do you know why? Because the way God created me, I work so much with my mind. If I have three preachings, three preaching engagements, I will have prepared all the message in my mind. Ever before I will have time to get Byron and paper to write. So if I'm going to get Byron and paper to write, three service messages will be prepared in 30 minutes. But see, I've been preparing for the past one week. Ask her. She knows. She better you know she really near. Ah. So if you pay too much attention to issues, relationship will not work. Understand who your friend is. And whoever your friend is, endure that aspect of his life so that your relationship can work. Say I hear. You didn't answer me. Say I hear. I be a whole relationship, Elijah, Elijah. Only Binun Lal Elijah. Imagine in Tonlo Magbaman to a Unte Liebo. Okay, the book on Paralemi. Paralemi. Not over. Not over. Ulu Atina Michelo. Lord Jericho. In any sir. Kuba Jenu Iralello. I don't lonely. Cousin to my yay, me at tea. I have you. He be taught to law, to the law to the level come, in Utubi. Munifara. Parallel me, Jerry. Lord Joque. Luanam Lord Jordan. In any or guy, Missa. Eh, Mogi. Bay Valo Giddy, Vinu. A mini or giddy, Sulu. Allah, your man, Lord Igbato ti keta igba keta to se ni Elisha se Elijah se wa we yin ke ki lo ti e fe gan jo ti ma fe ma lo o ti mo ko o nfe lo ko de fe fi agbara yen le bo leyin igba to ri ke omo leyin mi yi o lagbara ko binu o to ba je lomi ni a se pada leyin pastor e ke 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 rubbish woni a se n toro ori ofia ti tele yin e tun wa le mi pada ijo gan wu mi wa <laughs> because I know so many of you, you didn't want to come to church today. One for say one. Imagine keep us for us. Did they go come church? Ah, move for your tickets near. Elijah now said, "What should I give you on the day I will go?" Says sir, double portion of your anointing. Ah, only that one that you ask. Okay, you just to bury me in my lonio. To bury me in my lonio. Bonde she joni bi beli ni keke ina kan she kini o kan pe won ni ya be la isha she be si kike my father my father the chariot and the horse e ti gbagbe n te fe fun mi ni if you pay too much attention to issues you will not have friends on te lo mi o se lo re ni e o wa so pe won o lori ore ko se ni ti olorun da alone Go back to that same Proverbs. Let's go back to that proverb. I want us all to read it together. Proverbs chapter 18, 24. The A part. Let's read A together. One, two, and three. Let's go. A man that had friends must what? Show himself how friendly. And it over my Oya yon ni ke. Wan da ke yon pada. O ni ba o le ko she wa yi ni bo bo e ti ba e. Issues lo mpe attention si. That relationship will not last. Shia here. Out of what I want to teach you is this number three I like most. Number three. Relationship is like electronics. It requires servicing. Write it down like that. Oh. Relationship is like electronics. It requires servicing. Find out what keeps your relationship with people around you alive. Now, Mafuini, four examples. Cherry relationship, be electronics, ni uri kwa kwa kama service, eh, she wa di kuke. Okay, kilo man, kilo ma je ki, i do re kwa mi, pe lulag ba ja, kuma ja. Now, e je ki, e wa pere metat mo fe she. 
What keeps your relationship with your landlord alive? Shout it aloud. Rent. Hello? What keeps the relationship with your landlord alive? It's also okay. Bo Basan rent, who are you? Bad tenant. And you will see the red eye of your landlord. What keeps the relationship between you and your staff alive? Thank you. Salary. Shall you go? Oh, give me the salary. Give back salary. Neo, Martin Ray, Maru can like Kel. You got in Nigeria, best need just staff. Lo, no more kind of staff. Would that what keeps the relationship between you and your customers alive? I didn't hear you. Satisfactory. Kilo data ti 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 ta wamo Nigeria lon bypass ino 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 nepa hotel wa lono ni le lumish abi nepa wa mbi o le lumish ewo ki ma ma suwa ya mila le ma yola ro but if there's what we call satisfactory service you see that your customers will keep coming we keep coming we keep coming ah I enjoy the service. Oh, I enjoyed the service. I listen. That's why pay attention. Every relationship that you have, ask yourself, what do I need to do to keep this relationship running? No relationship can run on its own. Twenty-two years that we have been living together, husband and wife. I was talking to one couple. They sat down here. Their couple is in a church. Thank God they have settled now. I was asking the wife, Ah, I mean, you know, I was asking the woman, Toba ma daru I asked the man, Ah, in Toba wuko she. I asked the woman, Igbati mo they try lati cancer. A sokwe Toba ma daru kudaru. B sokwe Toba. Eh, what about the kudaru? Emma lelo daru. Keep going, Timo Vesema. I am a Johnny Diwosan. So I now call them separately. Separately. The wife said her own. The husband said his own. Separately. I now taught them what to do. Do you think we, do, we are not servicing our relationship? There are things she's doing that makes me like her more. There are things I'm doing that makes me like her more. It is not by force that we stay together. <laughs> You are the most like all on Lelish. Oh, tell what long last she drove at 22 years. But one of them said, Yati, please me. If you don't say, Yati, please me. It's in the Bible. Paul said, A married man is no longer looking at what to please the Lord alone, but how to please his wife. The same thing with the wife, how to please her husband. Every relationship, listen, there are some relationships you are in that what will, what will maintain it is frequent call. Some, it is visit. Some, it is gifts. But you know why so many people do not relate, they don't want to relate. They are not studying the relationship they are in. So, but I don't study it. I won't go on, I don't maintain it. Because the Bible says, Woe unto him that is alone. And Proverbs have shown just so not, he that has friends must show himself friendly. So, what do I need to do to maintain this relationship? It is you that will find it, it's not me that will teach you. I have relationships at different levels. Muni and Wati Mumbadore at different levels. And each of those relationships, I know what to do to maintain them. To keep those relationships alive. If I want it to die, I know what to stop. Say here. Are you learning something? Number four. Only five, they might stop. Don't allow past negative experience. Turn you into a beast, in bracket, a monster. My jacky and when Jack will let Totti nearly 
pelu awon eniyan ko wa so edi ebora ti o se ba se mo ke lo mi bi tuju ku se ani pastor e mo riri mi ni te ba mo nkan ti eniyan ti se wa tun mu orin 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 duni olare waju ah no 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 ki se duni lo ko eh atori se eniyan 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 o eniyan buru emi na ti ko rin eri eyin ara e ma se gba ara le niyan o eniyan le eni abafeyin ti gbo gbo ara lo fi segun bo se mo ke awon to ko pe eniyan buru na lo lo so pe angel mi Listen, you know why you are born again? You are born again so that the Holy Spirit can become your teacher. Let the Holy Spirit heal you. E mi ti mo nsore, awon eniyan ti stab me. Eyan ti hurt me. E lai mo ye. Ai mo ye gbe se. O lo se ye ki ko se nto ma ngbe form guarantor wa mo sin ti mo man sign fun. And yeah, my being what in the mass sign to the I may be say my sign fellow me by my be straight. I'm a pastor. Ah, there was a time on my best near a crazy beer. The choir master work on law for shop today. Tau go be at the end here a middle any of a color shop. What then you want to 39 crates of beer? No gin shop, mo man be sin rabi ati mi omu. Te ba ri mi bismo sin rati ri siri. No, I'm telling you experience. But that does not mean that you should not relate. What you should do is to learn the lesson. Ah, there was a time I've had experience before now. That's why you see that I don't, I'm not, I'm, I can counsel your wives on phone. I cannot visit any brother's wife at home. Lie, lie. Without my wife. Tori want to accuse me, really, out of sincerity, then he, and okay, I want you to say, like Pastor Joe Okolo. Kide, she can call like Pastor, but you want to say, if you want. Daddy, you want to say, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, ah, Ti pastor fe gba ya o mi ni. Na iyan o wa ni ki ma pray mo. Mi o lo mo ni. To ba ti pe mi ba hello mama. Se rai si ka jo sai lo. Fun ba ti rai e wo mi o lo mi o wa. A mama post tango we put it side there phone ti wa. A ma badua fun yin ni lori phone. But that does not mean you should now become a beast. Some say, Pastor, you don't understand. Me, you need Lord more. The Bible says, Woe unto him that is alone. What you should do from every experience is pick the lesson. Now, when people come to me, Pastor, e wa ya wa lowo, me on ya yon lowo, un timba ni ma fun eh. So that to ba ti e pa da wa koni bi minu. She be member lo ya wu lo mi o fe ra cabrito mo tun ni sa emi ko ni mo lowo yi o owo i project church ni e je kin ya yin o lo o pada de after igba to da o de gbe owo yen da ni wa inu mi ti dun pe ah ma se da pada sa county church o lo won o wa da pada o o nkan wa fi han mi ko won ti ri but o ni nkan kan to won fe fi ra o de tu pada lo to ba ti wa wa cho to ba ti ri e ma binu si mi o mi gbagbe yi on ti jo to kan wa to to ni pastor to se le ni ke mi olohun ni ka sun si waju owo mi wa nko amama ri afi tin ba ri won lola so what is the lesson ma ya yan lowo but to ba lori ofe nti wa fun yan fun yan Eyin le lori ofe ati yayan lowo se won eyin le ja Kikini ma wole e ma gbe television e se mi tin ba wole gbe television se e ni gbe sori facebook Behold God's power evangelical mission pastor enter members house and carry television because of money 
and bloggers will begin to pick it. Bloggers will begin to pick it. Before you know it, will you return his tithes that he has been paying all these days? Do you, are you getting what I'm saying? So, what are we, we saying? Allow the Holy Spirit to heal you. And allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in every relationship. That's why you are born again. But don't let past experience turn you into a monster. Number five, the last one. I love this number five. But me like it to number three. Write it down this way. Peter returned to the place where prayer was being offered for him by divine leading. Now, what's the lesson? Write it down again. Peter returned to the place where prayer was being offered for him by divine leading. Listen, God wants you to know how to appreciate people. You know why a lot of people don't have relationships with sincere people is that you don't know how to say thank you. You only know how to say give me. Hello, me, it's your problem. Hey, Niri. It's your bad problem. Koni de wa juhi. Peteru, a angeli e dari e kwa da si be. Bo she wali ba, bo bo yon da ke adua. Ha ulu wa she wo. You to cultivate the attitude of going back to show appreciation. Don't only call when you have need. Hello, bro, precious. Hello, bro, precious. Hello, bro, precious. Me, my boy, I'm only 5K. But how many times have you ever called, bro, precious? Hello, bro, precious. Hello, bro, precious. How is Rachel doing? Hi, is mommy, Rachel. How is, how is, what's the name of our new baby, sir? Arulua, be glad. Ireulua. How is Ire doing? Some people will never call you except there is a need. Can I tell this truth? Appreciative people are always elevated. If you are an appreciative person, you are friends. So. Ah, well, Lore. There are so many of you. At times when I don't see you in church, I will start calling. And call and call. If my calling you is about money, you won't pick my call again. Because every time you see my call, the first thing you call, you think is, ah, 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 too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too Peter returned. Have you returned? Do you used to return? Even when you two have little surplus, do you ever call to say, I don't know why I'm using bro precious name, sorry. Hello, precious, bro precious, I don't know. And I have a little change with me. Do you have any need? And you two, if they ask you, do you have need? Don't always have need. <laughs> Needy people don't always have friends. Go and search scripture. He said a poor man does not have friends. He said even when he's coming, his family members will be running away. Thomas, okay, until you can learn needy people. I want to hear you sit back in one nearly. And can I tell you this truth? Because I don't need to. If you see anybody, because I don't need to, nobody has enough. Everybody is managing himself with the wisdom of God. May God take you to the point of more than enough. Yeah. I'm summarizing. So, always show appreciation. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate you. I celebrate what you are doing. All things like this should be your attitude. If you live like that, you will have friends. In my tribe, I'm a Yoruba man. Let's borrow from the Language of the Yoruba people. I want you to buy more Yoruba on the Mele. That only Iri, Iri po, oh my jo. Have you seen Yoruba? Loan shekini, loan shekupa. Tori pe, 
Snakes don't work as a group. That's why they, they die easily. You see big python die. He said, but if snakes decide to form a pack, a group, who will stay? That's how friendship is. When you have people around you. Listen, everything you need in this life is already in somebody's hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So all your prayers, as it goes up to God, the answers are already in the hands of men. But to follow our way to principle to Sir, is is there? And me one be to one say to okay. Ah, moto ni moko joy. I wish I can get drivers. Tell mama she just tell deliver for me. Somebody is looking for people like that now. Somebody is abroad. Ah, ileni mu defe. Ulu wa lowo mi insi mu defe. Kole, I want to build. I want to. I want to go into estate business. I just need somebody that is faithful in Nigeria. See, mama, send the wo si. Tell them about me, she projects law. Everything you need is in somebody's hands. But if you don't know how to relate, ha. When, I'm summarizing. When Pharaoh got that dream, look for interpreter for me, they couldn't get. Look for interpreter for me, they couldn't get. The butler said, I remember there was one man, his name is Joseph. We got dreams in the prison. I and the cup bearer and the baker. The man told us our dream and the interpretation. Sir, my own interpretation is that you will restore me. I was restored. The baker's interpretation is that he will be killed after three days. He was killed. Sir, this man should be able to interpret your dream. Pharaoh said, send him for me. And listen, as he came, he told them the meaning of the dream and told them what to do. God didn't come down. He said, what do we do? He said, ah, sir, there's going to be seven years of abundance. These seven years of abundance, we will need extra savings for the seven years of scarcity that is coming. What is the problem we have in Nigeria now? We had abundance in the days of Jonathan. We, have abund we had abundance in the days of, of uh, the man that died. Uh, what's his name? Yaradua. But because there was no savings, They were just spending. Now we are here. But we had Joseph. Joseph told them what to do. Do it this way, do it this way. Do you know that everything he said happened like that? They followed the savings plan. Egypt escaped scarcity. Why? Because they knew how to relate. Take these five principles today. Go and put them to work. What's number one? Don't deceive yourself. Know what you are looking for. Some of you are looking for, you say, I'm looking for mass teacher. You say, like, you are looking for a rejo teacher. And to my best, I'm lower. Know what you want. Don't deceive yourself. What's number two again? Stop giving attention to issues. What's number three? Relationship is like electronics. It requires what? Servicing. Know what will service each relationship you have. Number four. Don't allow your past negative experience turn you into a monster. Allow the Holy Spirit to heal you. And number five. Learn to return. Cultivate an appreciative attitude. Mabonche mori. Toba mori. Wari I wrote it down there. Appreciation what? Gives you access to more. If you're an appreciative person, you gain access to more. Are you blessed? Have you learned something? Will you go and relate? So that's your neighbors. Don't fight them again. Those neighbors around you, don't fight them. Don't fight them. We were doing a project at their level. Because I, all our neighbors around, I used to play greet with them, greet them. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Good morning, sir. Good, blah, blah, blah. 
One of them was us passing. Ah, pastor, I ain't share any money. Be any. Ah, we don't need cement bag metal. Ah, cement in this season here. Eh, yeah, come on, I'll be. If you support, you share school tension. You know, some of you, you are, you are, your face is just like fleet. You don't have anything at the back or at the side. Fleet, or you can loan. Even when they greet you, you don't answer. All you are thinking is I'm not in their level. Am I the bag they pay? You are bani. Oh, my dear, could you give me? Tag banker. Tag only ban two more way. You know what it means? The height of a, uh, the, a child's height cannot reach height. An adult's finger cannot enter Kirigbe. <laughs> Which means we need ourselves. That's the summary of it. We need ourselves. We need ourselves. Very, very important. We need ourselves. Let's close, Jerry. Let's close. Today is anointing service. I bless this oil in Jesus' name. I release the power of God into it.